everybody. This is Karen Marge from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. And you've got three wood storks on the left. And this one, the third one, oh my gosh. Okay, he was sitting on the ground. You see how long their legs are. Okay, the, uh, we'll say the second from the left is, you know, I can't use the word sitting on the ground, but he's resting. And they fold their legs forward. Look at this. Unbelievable. Can't believe we got that on film. It's amazing. And we have a fabulous alligator here. And I'm at a freshwater uh, pond or lagoon, as we call them down in Hilton Head. And, you know, I'm at like two, well, no, I'm at about 100 zoom. So I'm not anywhere near this gator. There's a lot of water. Um, in fact, I'll even pan back so you can see how far away I am. Yeah, so safety is always first when it comes to alligators. Um, I was a witness to one this summer jumping vertically in Pinckney Island uh, at Ibis Pond. So I am definitely taking a bit more caution uh, when it comes to filming gators. But the white ibis, you know, a lot of people take them for granted. They see them all the time. But I think they're kind of a fascinating species because they will hang out up in the trees. They will hang out on land. Uh, they'll walk the water's edge and they like to nest over in Pinckney Island in the summertime and I like to observe them every single week. And both parents will raise the chicks. Now the chicks when they're born they actually have sort of a purple down color feather. It deepens to a, uh, a dark dark brown and they'll have an orange bill with three stripes on it and it will take two years to gradually molt into the all white adult plumage that you see before you. Now they've got a decurved beak as they call it and they will lay one to five eggs, two to three would be common. Um, what's interesting is the male undergoes a period of starvation during mating and incubation. You know, they have to remain close to the nest and defend it so the female will be okay with the eggs. Um, they will bathe and preen and they'll rub their uh, bills on oil glands on the side of their heads. They rub them on the, their back plumage, kind of interesting. So uh, these birds, they will only preen themselves, but during courtship, they do what's called aloe preening, which would be, you know, preen each other. And uh, these birds are actually a symbol of optimism with the Native American uh, folklore. They are typically the last birds to seek shelter, uh, you know, before a hurricane, and they're actually the first ones to emerge. Now, I'll pan in real quick um, so you can see past the alligator here. Woo! The alligator always steals the show, but um, the white ibis, they hang out in groups. They feel safer that way, and it's a glorious day on Hilton Head with a high of 61. All right, we're signing off live. It's Karen Martz.